yeah, there were a lot of uh, a lot of changes happened on that last episode, and um, I mean, I guess significantly for Lem, he got married, um, which for a man who's 500, 500 years old and dead, it's quite an adjustment. And so um, we delve into that a lot more this year, and of course, the hotel got taken over, so we have uh, some newcomers to Midnight to introduce to the uh, the fans. So. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot to see. Unlike most married couples, this one has a particular connection, which um, uh, because uh, Olivia drank Lem's blood to survive, they now have a psychic connection. So um, for better or for worse, there's very little that's hidden between them. And that becomes part of them exploring relationship and uh, and uh, part of their story for this upcoming season. Well, you know, the Midnight family is very tight. So it, you sort of have to be initiated in and trust doesn't come just because you've arrived in town. So um, Kai and Patience are finding that uh, they weren't immediately accepted and they have to almost prove themselves before uh, the Midnighters will sort of embrace them. Um, but that's sort of the midnight way, you know, you, you sort of have to earn your way in. Well, I think one of the, the great things about the Midnighter's story is it, is it is always a story of acceptance and whether you accept yourself, accept others, accept change. The thing that never changes about Midnight is that there will be some strays that come through and there will also be some humans that come through town. And that interactive story between the supernatural and human will always be there. And there are some people who have an interest in becoming more than ordinary. And uh, so in one of the upcoming stories, there's a young lady who um, is looking for a way of becoming more powerful. And she believes becoming a vampire might be that way. And so she does things to Lem. <laughs> the story writing in Midnight is, is phenomenal and it, it really is, um, even though it's described as a supernatural sort of drama, it really is about the characters and the people. And I think the writers this year have done an especially great job of exploring the characters themselves. And I think um, as uh, Monica and her team last year established the characters, the town, um, and now we're free from um, following strictly the books, we can delve more deeply into the characters. And so the interactions between the Midnighters, their personal issues, their um, internal struggles to grow, all the stuff that uh, you needed to get to know them first, now you know them, now you can see who they really are. And this year, you really get to see that. Oh, um, I think one, you know, we have to accept that uh, there's going to be more to tell about each and every Midnighter, um, the Rev being one of them. And I think we didn't exactly go back into his story that much last year. So this year we tell a lot more about who he really is and how he came into Midnight and the struggles he's actually facing. Um, but there'll be more. So uh, I think the, the great thing about Midnight is don't ever think you know it all. <laughs> I think um, people should tune into Midnight because in season two, there is never a straight line to any story. And um, as much as you know and love each character in Midnight, there's so much more to tell about them. So far from just the new characters being introduced, every familiar Midnighter is going to go through some transformations. So it's uh, drama, it's suspenseful, it's uh, scary and it is completely unpredictable. <laughs>